What? What? Do it. Go. No. no. Go. You were had a musical thing going no, on. No, I don't. No, you were gonna start. I there forgot what go. I was doing. Ow, my legs are hurting. <laughs> so bad. They're ripped. I'm not wearing pants today. I never don't wear pants. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reacts with Ian Corbin. He's pantless. You follow Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter for more juicy content. content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow Twitter account. Ring the bell for the game squad. Bang! Bang! Follow some person YouTube channel in the description below. Happy Pride Month uh, to all yeah. of you out there. Uh, if this, if you're seeing this in June, also. Yeah, assuming you're seeing it in June. And if you know this quote, because if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Can I get an amen? man? Do you, know you know that quote? No. It's RuPaul. Ends every Drag Race episode with that quote. Today we're watching a new uh, trailer. I think it's Hindi. Uh, let me check. Uh, Sherny. Sherny trailer. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be said like that. Sherny. Sherny. Uh, this is actually a Vidya Balan, uh, Vijay Ross, oh, cool. and Niraj Kabi. Wow. So three wonderful, wonderful yes. actors. Uh, it's a Hindi film. Uh, looks like Amazon's putting it on. Uh, do, 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 and this do. is a new nude trailer. trailer? Yeah, nude trailer. Awesome. You'll see VJ Ross in the nude. Whoa. Can't wait. Uh, I'm, I'm ex Man, those three together, this is, I'm excited. We didn't see his one last year, which was sad. I wanted to get to it. Loot case. Yeah. I think people said it was good. Maybe we'll get to it. Okay. You like us, let us know how it was. Here we go. आपके जंगल का टाइगर हमारे लिए बहुत खतरा बन चुका है इसका कोई हल है आपके पास Don't you dare mess with the tiger. Oh, that's like जो कि हम मुसीबत आन पड़ी है तो एक लेडी ऑफिसर ने यहां भेज दिया काफी तारीफ सुन लो तुम्हारे काम की Don't you dare kill the tiger. क्या कहना है आपका प्लान कुछ नहीं है गॉड स्क्रिप्ट सब कुछ इधर Oh. oh. This means it's going to be slow and poignant. Yep. There's my boy. You should not lose this balance. This is going to be so good. This is going to be so good. Call it Jesse. Let's go in. Rooting for the tiger, by the way. Share the Akum with the Kam with Bechanda Tamu. They're all mad at you, bro. Okay, come with it. Share the Kundi Banwalit. Kundi de Kipata Chaljaga, Kiboka or Kamarega. If that share million, Kapus Yakmi, I'm back at the Dakis. Well said. Shabash. June 18th. That you know, looks you, good. You know, it's funny. <laughs> India releases trailers so late, usually. <laughs> Outside of the big ones, obviously. The ones that are going to be these massive films like like RRR or, right. or, or, or KG3 that come out months in advance. Yeah. Um, but usually for films like this and others, they come out like a week, like a week before. Which is strange for us because the movies here in the United States, you typically get a two to three month window yeah. for most films to prep and know that it's coming out. Yeah, and so it's... Unless, again, it's a massive thing like a Marvel film or yeah. a Star Wars. Those come out a year beforehand. But the standard time frame for most trailers is two to three months before release dates. Yeah. Uh... Or even six months because you'll get advertisements in the spring... For stuff that's going to, like the horror films that are going to come out in October, you start getting them in the summer. Yeah. And then midsummer, you're getting Christmas release trailers mm -hmm. saying, coming this Christmas. So 
This anyway, looks great. Looks really good. I would be very interested. One, obviously we love video, we love VJ, we, we love Mirage. Uh, and the director of Newton yeah. loved that film. That film was... An excellent film. Yes, a very, very well done film. I, I think we said at the time, I was like, why wasn't this uh, one of their Oscar nomination yeah. films that for whatever year Newton came out, 2017. Yep. Um, so obviously it's in the hands of a good filmmaker. Um, What's the, what does it say the premise is there in the, the line? Uh, an upright forest officer who strives for balance in a world of man-animal conflict while she also seeks her true calling in a hostile environment. My bet is it, unless the director, I don't know what, I only know one thing, I guess, from this director. But if this is like slow-paced, like Newton, mm -hmm. like it takes, it's methodical in right. how it takes its time. And very human. And it's, it's about the human story. We might not ever really see the tiger outside of what, an attack in the beginning. Prob probably... My guess is it just, it'll always be a ghost. Yeah. Yeah. It's one, it's like one, it's just oh, an ever lingering. But presence. I know it'll get me mad. Because oh, yeah. There's, there's going to be character, there's going to be people there that are going to represent the stereotypical capitalistic, um, arrogant human that believes that we're not supposed to steward the planet, but dominate it. Yeah. And I'm rooting for the tiger. Yeah. Always. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, it's one of the, because. <laughs> It always makes me so frustrated and sad, obviously, when you ever hear about an attack, animal attack, right? Yeah, and then they kill, kill the animal. Like, the animal's not doing what it was meant to. It boggles my mind. Like, I don't care where, like, obviously the ones that jump into these zoo exhibits and die, I mean, they ask for it. I mean, <laughs> like, it's like, your stupid ass decided to get into this exhibit with a tiger, bear. And those are a lot what? of the scenarios where the animal's put down. Yep. Usually the animal is put down in that Yeah, because the, because the human did something stupid. Oh, oh, and they get to go have dinner, and then they put the animal down. Or just being itself. Or even in the wild, obviously. Like, if there's a shark attack or, or, or whatever. Right. I mean, yes. Uh, the shark attacks somebody, and everybody gets on their boats to go kill the shark. Yeah, it, it was a big thing when Jaws came out, which was... Didn't help the shark population at all. No, it, it actually heavily decreased. It was the very shark bad. Population, very bad. Which is extremely unfortunate that people are that stupid. Yeah. And not educated enough about well, sharks. Thankfully, we've come from Jaws to Shark Week. Yeah. Um, lot still, different mindset, but there's still a lot still, of doorknobs out there. People are they don't understand sharks or uh, they don't understand nature in general. In general, uh, like <laughs> they think sharks want to eat humans when in They're fact shy. They, they don't. In fact, most of the time when there's a shark attack, it's only they take a bite, realize you're not a seal, mm -hmm. and then they let they go, or alone. they just go away with what they got. They don't come back usually and, and keep attacking. No, they seldom ever come back. It's usually a one bite thing because yeah. they were expecting this nice, juicy, blubbery bite and they got a freaking chicken bone. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> nasty. Uh, but one thing, as far as animals and treatment, here in California, California in LA is spectacular mm. about when, because it happens a lot here, we're by the Santa Monica mountain range and there's a and whole slew of mountains around us yeah. with bear, mountain lion, cougar, yeah. well, that's the same as a mountain lion, uh, coyotes, wolves, and what invariably happens in the summer, bears will come down yeah. looking for food and they'll get in yards. And what they do all the time, and they've tracked all the mountain lions, they have them tags, they've named them, they've built places for them to cross over safely. And when a bear comes down, the first thought is, we're not gonna harm it. They'll tell people, get out, the helicopters come, they trank them, and then they bring them out to the wilderness. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we went off on a little yeah. animal, animal <laughs> rights activism there. But I'm there. guessing that's what this is gonna be about. I hope so. And you know, the act, and it was great, because obviously, Niraj is, is, is he's such a great actor. Uh, and he's one All of the three of these are. Yeah, yeah. and VJ looked actually different in this one. Because usually when he's in it, you know, he very well might have some comedic stuff. He usually has a little comedic side to him that people like to I, bring out of him because he's so funny. Yeah. But it looks like this is like almost a, a more serious side, which obviously he can do. He, we've seen him do it. So that's where we... Uh, what did we get to introduce him? Uh, Deli Belly. Deli Belly. Which he was an uh, extremely great villain, but he was yeah. also extremely subtly funny in that yes, film. Yes, yes, subtly uh, funny. Man, he was so good in that film. Remember what, who were raving about him in that film? Yes. They were like, this film was funny, but can we talk, talk about, about VJ <laughs> And then, remember how we were constantly missing him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we, he's an actor. I mean, all three of these actors. And, and video, of course, we love. Thankfully, we've had the blessing of being able to talk to Niraj, but 
I would love to talk to um, VJ and Vidya, but particularly VJ about his process. Mm -hmm. I would really love to know how we go about how he goes about embodying a character and uh, what that's like. So it, yeah, this for me is like a I shoe really, in. I want to see. I this. really hope this uh, is good yep. uh, when it comes out and. It's Amazon. It's an Amazon release, mm -hmm. um, which is funny because obviously this one's coming out, but the one with Farhan, which I believe is also an Amazon film, got pushed back. I wonder why. Because that was supposed to come out well, in May. Did they change? The boxing one. Right. I wonder. Well, that was, was it an OTT release? It's, it was an Amazon film, so obviously right. they're going to release it on their platform. Well, you know what they may have done? Hmm. They may be making changes now that they own MGM and they want a theatrical distribution. Hmm. Since COVID's over, they'll make more money. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, obviously he's a bigger star than obviously these three names. Uh, Farhan, he's a, he's a he's yeah, a hefty will, star. Will not surprise me if Amazon does some shifts on some of their stuff. It won't just go straight to OTT. They're going to have some theatrical releases because Amazon and MGM are going to be the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, looks great. Let us know what we need to know about it. Hopefully, it's good. Let us know when it comes out. How and it is. Good to animals and especially tigers. Down below. <laughs>